welcoming the Shabbat bride. We welcome those who managed to make it through our technical difficulties and are finally watching on YouTube, thanks to Joshua's uh, persistence and genius. Moi v'shalom ateret bala, gam v'simcha u'metzola, toch emne am v'simcha, boi kala, boi kala. May God comfort you with all the mourners of Zion and Jerusalem. Page 19. We continue silently, pages 19 and 20. Oh, Tanu, the Maritah, Al 
Elohim Adonai Eloheinu Bishopeinu Ufkumeinu Nasiak Bechukecha Venismak Benivrei Toratecha Uva Mitvotecha Leolam Ba'ed Ki Ekecha Yehenu Veorek Yamenu Uvahem Negeyomam Balai Laki Empa Yehenu Veorek Yamenu Uvahem Negeyomam Balai Laki Empa Yehenu Veorek Yamenu Veorek Yamenu Ve'ahavtah <laughs> Ukshartam leot al yadecha, vayu letotafot v'nei necha. Ukavtam al mezuzot v'etecha, uvi sharecha. Continuing silently, twenty-seven through twenty-nine. On page 32, <laughs> Yaakov, 
Please rise for the Shamru. We recite the Amidat silently, pages 37 through 48.
send us a letter. A single letter. Out of 64 letters. He did 63. <laughs> An extra letter. But I will send the whole text out there. Just to make sure it's the same letter. What? Right. And so when I copied it, there was this thing, the letter on both sides.
Right, so this will be the last piece that I discovered in the American Jewish Archives in Cincinnati, in Temple Beth Abraham's history, which is a series, well, it's two articles on the same subject. And if I keep this project going, at some point, it wouldn't be that hard to see how many, how Temple Beth Abraham was covered in the Chronicle, the Chronicle of the Tribune over the years. But yeah. that's not what we're going to do now. But I am going to, I am going to mention this, these articles that I found in the American Jewish Archives, which come from October of 1972. And they have to do, they're very political, because they have to do with an election. It was uh, Ron Dellums was running for the second time against Republican candidate Peter Hannaford. And Peter Hannaford was questioning Congressman Dellum's record on Israel, which, to be fair, was something that could be questioned. Um, and he was pointing, actually, to, he, he was using quotations from Dellum's 1970 primary election against a Democrat who he beat uh, named Jeffrey Co Cohelen, um, who was endorsed by the, uh, the Jewish Democratic Club. And, but in this case, anyway, Dellums won, and now the Republican was challenging him. Just the fact that there could be a Republican challenging for an election in the East Bay uh, shows a very different era from 1972 to today. So that, anyway, so on, after all this, in the article on October 14th, Congressman Dellums uh, said, denied making anti-Israel statements and said he would hold a press conference Monday at Temple Beth Abraham in Oakland to answer the charges. So now the second article, which comes from October 17th, 1972, a day which would later hold an earthquake in, uh, so he created his own mini earthquake. <laughs> Hannaford Dellums in synagogue. In a somewhat confusing scene in an open synagogue yesterday, Congressman Ronald Dellums, Democrat Berkeley, defended his position on Israel. Dellums had been accused by his Republican opponent, Peter Hannaford, of defending Israel when talking to liberal voters and voicing pro-Arab sentiments among the new leftists. I think it means to say leftist, but maybe that's just, that, that was the term they used. Um, so liberal, pro-Israel, new left, anti-Israel. After Hannaford's charge on Friday, Dellums announced through a local spokesperson that he would hold the press conference. List 327, MacArthur Boulevard. But there apparently were protests from some of the temple's congregation. So both Dellums and Hannaford appeared there yesterday. Now, I pause for a moment. Uh, so it may have been protesting that Dellum's record and that he would speak at the synagogue, it's equally possible that they were protesting that they were not hearing from both sides at the same time, which, if somebody's running an election, is required by the law. And how do we know this? Because when we had our own Congresswoman, Barbara Lee, speak, uh, we had protests from a couple members of the congregation, and they pointed, they actually threatened to sue us because it was during an election year, 
and we didn't have both candidates present, and they had, it would have been a, a ridiculous case, but they were not wrong on legal grounds. So we actually had to postpone her talk until after the, that's a whole, that's a much longer story than I just indicated, <laughs> and it was quite a challenge for all of us, the board of directors and me personally. But um, I mean, it was also kind of ridiculous in the sense that Barbara Lee doesn't really run, right? You know, it's just wins, and like yeah. someone, there might be a token name, but it's not really an election. Uh, so, but anyway, they were right, so she spoke instead after the election. In any case, so there were protests. But Dellums was defended by Rabbi Paul Lederman of the Hillel Foundation, who said the congressman has long been a supporter of Israel in the face of forces urging him to take the opposite tack, which for an East Bay congressman, even in 1972, maybe even especially in 1972, was difficult. He has condemned the Soviet Union's anti-Semitism. Dellum said, the problems of the Mideast are complex and they are historical. The reality is that Israel does exist. There must be multilateral negotiations of all the involved peoples and not just the United States and the USSR. The three principal parties must meet face to face in negotiations. This needs the best efforts of the Israelis, the Arabs, referring to other Arab nations, and the Palestinians. The United States and USSR should agree to stop the arms buildup. Which, again, another pause. This is in October of 1972. In October of 1973, armed by the Soviets, uh, the Yom Kippur War took yes. place and was you know, just incredibly difficult and painful. In any case, Hanford persisted, persisted, typo, or, you know, uh, mistake in the journalism, in questioning Dellums on his voting record concerning Israel, and Dellums responded. And this is the part I find the most fascinating about this article. In Congress, you are always in a compromise. Nine times out of ten, it is not all good in some bill under consideration. It is not all good in every vote. There's no single clean bill to vote. Compromise is, in fact, in operation every day. Is it still? Okay, and this coming from really the most left-wing congressperson, or at least top three of the time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, talking about the value of compromise, something you rarely hear. So, anyway, just very fascinating. It's San Francisco Chronicle, October 14th and October 17th, 1972. Somehow found its way into the American Jewish Archives. <laughs> okay. And that's it for the, the, the minuscule file that they have. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to go back to the dead files. That's coming next. Uh, and it's going to be various. The next collection is various rabbi letters, is all I can tell you. Um, so some are thank you letters. Some are just, it's a hodgepodge. That's where we're going next. And a little bit of complaining and responding to, uh, but the, the, the <laughs> Complaining, yeah, exactly. What complaints? But I should tell you that. But there's a there's a whole file on the, the most vicious complaints, which that's we'll save that for much later, or maybe right before my sabbatical. Uh, it's uh, they're not about me. Those letters they may be in the files, but they're not going to be read. <laughs> they're there. Though. For another rabbi, exactly. Some other rabbi will read them. All right, we're going to rise for the kiddush, page fifty five. Rukat <laughs> Mikor ha amin, ve shamat kochecha, ve ahava uvratzon, in khaltanu, baruch atza arunai, ve kadesh ashabat. Amen. Lachayim to life. And if you happen to be near your children, we have at least a few of you, or anyone else you're comfortable enough blessing, we say, 
May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you, be gracious to you. May God lift the divine face toward you and grant you peace. May be seated as we love and recall the memory of our departed relatives and friends whose earth sites we observe during the coming week. Thinking especially today of Irving Barish, Stanley Bear, Jenny Berkovich, Donald Blyberg, Lonnie Ballard Bloodstein, Nellie Collins, David Cook, Bernie's, Bernie DeCoven, James A. Dixon, Joseph Epstein, Stuart Gelman, Grace Gill, and Denise, I hope you're you're watching. I hope you're a Friday night regular these days. And we miss your mom a lot. Rose Gottesman. Fritz Gottschalk, Martha Harris, Anna Hoffman, Jocelyn Fulton, Herbert Jacobs, Samuel Jarmolowski, Alice Kessler, Joseph Kramer, Jack David Leon, Anne Levitt, Leo Norber, Aaron David Lutsky, Alfred Miller, Arlene Morris, Elliot Nakin, Philip Osseroff, Via Fong, Vera Popper, Rebecca Rubin, Samuel Schneiderman, Beatrice Harriet Simon, Ben Weiss, Mary Weiss, word in the Shalashim for Kurt Kleinman and Ariel David. Memories of all them with us. Rest all those who are in mourning or observing your outside, as well as anyone who would wish to do so, to rise from Mourner's Kaddish this time, page 61. Yit Kadal, the Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabbah, Vel Mad Ivrach Yerute, Vel Lich Mokute, Vechaye Chon, Yom Echon, Fein Chon Beit Yisrael, Bagalav Isman Karib, Vimru, Amen. Yehishmei Rabba Mivorach Leolam Lomeo Maya Yitbarach Vishtavach Vitbar Vitramam Vitaset Vitadar Vitale Vitalal Shemeni Kutcha Barilu Laela Amin Kol Berchata Vishirata Tush Berchata Benechemata Damiran Vilma Vibru Yehishmei Rabba Min Shemaya Vechaim Halein Velko Yisrael Vibru Hosei Shalom Vibroma Huya Hosei Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'yibru. Amen. Zikronam le'vracham, may the memory of the people you've come to say, Kaddish, will be a blessing to you always. And let us say, Amen. Announcements tomorrow. Services are at 9.30, led by the Men's Club. There's also Shabbat Yeladim and Shabbat Mishpacha, and I will be helping to lead Shabbat Mishpacha tomorrow, as the Men's Club will capably handle the bulk of the service without me. On Sunday night, there's a film club discussion of two movies, one called Doe and one called Straight, I think. One about comics, one about matzah. The theme for 
the upcoming weeks, including next Friday, there will be no Friday night Kabbalat Shabbat services. We are not having them. Most, uh, very few of you would come anyway. Possibly none of you would come. You'll be at, at your own Passover Seder's, and we shouldn't have to start ours really late for no one to come. So therefore, no, no service. However, there is Saturday morning services for the first day of Passover. And I think that's probably enough for now. A big thank you to Josh Milman for getting us on stream, and to uh, yes, Re uh, Rebecca uh, Rebecca Feigelson for um, being our board greeter. Uh, I'll go along with husband Isaac. Had a lot of chasing to do tonight, so. Uh, but you did. They got a reward in that apparently their daughter Leah took her first steps in the synagogue. Right during the uh, the Matbeat Fila, where the name Leah is chanted, so wow. pretty cool. Now, for closing song, I, I honor. Uh, I often honor someone uh, famous, you know, a singer who died. But uh, and I love this singer and I love this hit song. But C. W. McCall only has one hit song called Convoy, and it just there's no way I could make it work here yeah. in services. Who anybody remember this? I still yeah, I was, yeah. Are you still talking about it? Yeah, Jacob, hang on, because you're, you're going to help, help me in a second. We have, so it's just me and Anne and Karen. We're the only ones who know of Josh. Yeah. We got him on your time. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's a CB song, and uh, it's fabulous and brings wonderful memories. My mom knows it because we had a CB in a camper one summer. Oh, I thought you were about it, was, it was amazing. All right, so. So we are going to do a couple closing songs, Jacob, one of which you're going to do with me, okay? So I want you to stand, stand right here, stand right there, okay? You're going to do the first one, all right? Exactly, so tur turn turn, and look there, and stand, stand all the way back here. Bang, 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 your hammer low, bang, 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 deal a heavy blow. For it's work, 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 every day and every night. For it's work, 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 when it's dark and when it's light. There's another verse, but I, I don't... Dig, 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 dig your shovels deep. Dig, 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 it's no time to sleep. For it's work, 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 every day and every night. For it's work, 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 when it's dark and when it's light. <laughs> And then the second closing song is also a little bit silly. Uh, congratulations to the San Francisco Giants on their extra inning win, all done before Shabbat. And this is a Passover baseball song. Take us out of Egypt, free us from slavery. Bake us some matzah in a haste. Don't worry about flavor, give no thought to taste for its rush. Rush, rush to the Reed Sea. If we don't cross, it's a shame. For it's ten plagues down, and you're out at the base game. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Yeah, one of the plagues was it? Can I tell you what they all want? Sure, tell me what they They all want to. Exactly. Perfect. Um, yeah, we're off, but I, uh, 